<laughs> oh my god! Oh, it pulled! Oh, he came back for it! Oh, he came back for it! No! Oh my god! What the? Good morning, y'all. We are out here today targeting some giant fish. The Jack Cravel have just flooded our bays. And uh, if I hook one on this kayak, the old Hobie Lynx, it's going to get interesting. So, y'all stay tuned. Let's see if we can get out here and find us some big jacks. Y'all, we got a huge school of jacks right there. Right there in front of us. I'm gonna pop this huge popper out. Let's see if we can get one to bite on it. Oh, he bit. He's on. There he is. That did not take long. Oh my God. Dude. Oh, did it pull? God dang it. Oh man. Well, that was, we just got started. I mean, I just popped that dude out there. I mean, they're still here, though. Come on. Come on. We're going to chase them down. I'm sitting here looking at them way up ahead. Here we go. fish on what is that i don't think that's a jack oh it's a big old trout oh my god we hooked a giant trout on this popper that was a giant trout what the crap dude this is shaping out to be a good morning if i could just land something oh there they go got the jacks right there that's what this morning is going to be, chasing them down. I think they're right there. There he is. They're all over this point right now. I mean, they're all over this point. You can just see them swirling out there. Do they even know he's hooked? I don't think so. He's about to. Ooh, big jack, big jack. Look at him, look at him. There's another school right there. Dude, we are surrounded by giants. Oh my God, this is insane. Oh. There he goes. We're about to go on a certified sleigh ride. This Hobie Lynx doesn't grab any water at all. I'm just skiing on top right now. Oh, man, this is so exciting. So awesome. Went from hooking a couple of jacks, <laughs> losing a giant trout on a big popper, and now we're hooked up. It's just crazy morning, y'all. Sun hasn't even come up yet. Hey, come on. I mean, these fish pound for pound are the hardest fighting fish to enter our bays. I mean, their will to live is just unmatched. Their strength, they don't ever give up. Just like that right there. Just when you think it's about done, he's got another burst in him. If I was in a boat, I could apply so much, oh boy, so much more pressure. In a kayak, you're just playing the waiting game. All right, all right. Simmer, dude. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, y'all look at that guy right there. Oh my goodness. Whew. Y'all, look at that big old girl right there. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful, beautiful catch. Whoo, first thing this morning. We're about to get back out here and try to find us another one because they are freaking everywhere. Ha! Ah, let's go ahead and get a good release on this girl. Get back out there, find some more on the popper. The lure I used to catch that fish is the Ozuri Mag Popper 130F, silver and blue. Got that little cup right there. Super loud popper. These jacks are turned on by that popping noise. So if you're sitting there, you're trying to trigger a strike from one, throw in a popper is about the best way to go. Obviously the hookup ratio on these guys is not as good, but uh, yeah, they'll definitely bite it. All right, so those fish were definitely relating to this point. They came through first thing this morning. I saw them swirling up there around that pole, through, hooked up immediately, chased them around the point. I lost them over here. That's when I hooked that trout just out there blind casting. Then I looked around and it's like they swirled and came back and they're just doing a big circle around this point right here. I just saw a jack fin come out the water. Got him! Oh my God, there's so many of them out here. Oh, this is just stupid. I barely saw a jack fin poke out the water and was like, yep, they're there. Here we go. Round two. These fish are so much fun. I mean, what more could you ask for? Beautiful sunrise right here, pink skies nothing but action this morning whoo big boy's getting tired bend me around just don't pull me out that way don't pull me out that way there's another big stool right there look at him lick their fins out the water ah i kind of want to get this guy off the line so i can throw them they're right there they're right there. Look at them. Look at that huge stool. They're right there. <sighs> Y'all, I didn't know jacks have teeth. But those are definitely teeth in there. Holy cow. All right. Well, that's good to know. Alright, so that one is not quite as big as the last one, but still, I mean, just a monster fish with a ton of fight. Whoo! Get back out there. That stool that swam by is sitting right out in front of us. Thank you some water. Bye-bye. The sponsor of today's episode is Poke Bowl. If y'all are sushi enthusiasts or looking for a healthy alternative to other fast food, be sure to check out the Poke Bowl locations in downtown Mobile or Fairhope. Poke Bowl offers an assortment of meats and vegetables along with sauces that y'all can have thrown together in a bowl and makes an awesome, awesome meal. This is one of my favorite places to go out and eat. I hope y'all head over there. Let them know Southern Salt sent you and back to the episode. All right, we are getting our workout in this morning. Typically, we're getting a lower body workout with us pedaling around. Not today. It's all upper body. There he is. There he is. Very next cast. This is, oh, he came off. Oh, they're on it. They're fighting for it. I just lost two of them. Another one jumped on it. Oh my goodness. This is so insane. I mean, just call your shots. They're everywhere. I don't think I've ever seen so many fish in one spot. So many giant fish in one spot. Oh my God. Whoo. There's another big stool up ahead. This is so insane. Whoo. He's screaming. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. The other two didn't run like that.
The sun hasn't even come up yet, y'all. Oh, so early. And I mean, it's just been nonstop. He's spinning me in circles right now, which is a good thing because I need a break. I am so glad I brought this pole today. So glad. I'd say July through September, you don't you don't go out into the bay without having some sort of bigger setup because you never know when you're gonna run into rolling tarpon or jacks like this or even bull reds, you know. And um, I know it's fun to catch a lot of these fish on lighter tackle, but it's really bad on the fish to, you know, keep them in that fight for heck 45 minutes to an hour if you got a trout rod could be longer than that something like this even in a kayak i can end this fight in about 10 minutes or so what a, what a doggone brute i mean just sheer will out of these fish gotta respect that the jacks get a bad rap because people say you know they're trash fish or whatever and you can't eat them well the people i know that have eaten them um say that they're not bad i've never tried it but regardless like these fish completely have my respect i mean look at that look at that come here dude Come here, dude. Mm. Ah! Well, thanks for the shower. Get them hooks out your face, I get you back in the water. That's my promise to you. I didn't tell you to eat the popper though. I mean, in all honesty, you're the one that was being a glutton. Got to be careful with your hands that close to a popper like that. That jack goes to shake one time. He could sling them hooks straight into your hand. I mean, no words can describe how awesome this is this morning. Oh, man. All right, buddy. Let's put you off on this side, my strong side. Drink you some water. We'll get a good release on you. All right. On you, dude. Boom, boom. Woo! If y'all want to know where we're fishing at today, I'm going to do a Google Earth breakdown of this entire trip and put that on Patreon, link up here and down in the description. I have over 80 videos on there that talk about tons of different locations all the way from Northwest Florida, a lot in Mobile Bay and then Mississippi as well. So if you're around those areas and you're looking for new places to fish or just want to expand on some certain areas, be sure to check out our Patreon page. There's a ton of good information on there. All right, here we go again. There they are. <laughs> Woo, here we go. A little short. See if they, see if they come to the sound of the pop. Ah, can I reach them? I did. Oh, he knocked it down. Oh, he knocked slack out of it. I mean, there he is. He's on. Flipped it out of the water. Whoo, jack number four hooked up. Swimming at me. Oh. <laughs> oh my god oh it pulled oh he came back for it oh he came back for it no oh my god what the <laughs> dude that jack 
Oh my, I think he thinks he's catching me. I don't know. <laughs> what the crap was that? Oh, oh my God. Dude, I just fought this fish for a solid two or three minutes, man. He spit the hook and then went back for it. He was like, nah, homie, nah, not today. Man. All right, all right, hold on. I said I respected these fish. I respect their will. They're, they, they are so dumb. <laughs> these are not smart fish. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a big one too, man. That is a big one. I'm sitting there pulling against them. The other ones I could kind of bring to me a little bit. His head is pulled down. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, I feel like I got a 10 horsepower motor on the back of this thing pushing weight. All right, when they say going on a sleigh ride or taking a sleigh ride on a kayak, like this, this is a sleigh ride. This is what they're talking about. Like, we are moving right now. Whew. Y'all, I'm tired. I'm so tired. Oh, the hook pulled. Oh no. I sat there that long fighting that fish just for the hook to pull. That's all right. I ain't gonna lie, the fun part is hooking them, watching them chasing that bait. It's kind of fun to fight them, but the, f the fish was gonna get released anyway, so them getting off is not that big of a deal. It's just awesome to come out here and just see it. You know, you're just seeing the fish just like, huge schools of these jacks coming together they're corralling bait up like beautiful sky this morning birds oh the whole thing the whole thing is just freaking awesome man oh my goodness so the setup i'm using this morning is a shimano saragossa 6000 right here and i have that paired up on a daiwa coastal sp surf rod awesome surf rod i use this for like jetties piers any you know beach fishing chunking lures awesome rod and it's, it's pretty affordable too uh but got 40 pound power pro line on there to a very short uh 40 pound leader right there and uh we already talked about the popper but yeah yozuri mag popper 130f and that dude is getting bit getting bit by trout gaff tops tons of jacks i mean unreal all right y'all the sun is finally poking its head over the trees we have had a ton of action this morning i believe the jacks have moved out of the area i know we've had a shot at at least 10 or more we landed three had the fourth one hooked forever and don't know how, like the hooks just pulled i have no idea what happened but i hope y'all enjoyed the video today if y'all did hit the like button comment share the video and subscribe we're trying to hit 25,000 subscribers this year and i need all of y'all's help to be able to do that so i appreciate all the love and support and uh, we will see y'all next time